When you hear the name Lamborghini, your mind most likely thinks of high-performance supercars, luxury SUVs and flamboyant owners. However, the company renowned for luxury today started with humble beginnings. The Automobili Lamborghini Company was founded by Ferruccio Lamborghini in 1963. It was a company created with the intention to make high-end sports cars for rich owners. However, prior to this, Ferruccio had entered the automotive world with a much different set of vehicles, tractors. Lamborghini had shown an interest in mechanics from an early age and studied at the Fratelli Tadia Technical Institute. In 1940, he was drafted into the Italian Air Force as a mechanic, eventually becoming supervisor of the vehicle maintenance unit. Following his return home to Italy in 1946, after spending the end of the war as a British POW working in the British Motoring Department, he opened a garage in Pieve di Cento. Noticing a demand for agricultural vehicles in post-war Italy, Ferruccio began manufacturing tractors using surplus vehicle parts left over from the war. With these parts, he manufactured the Carriocha, a tractor using a six-cylinder Morris engine with an ingenious fuel atomizer designed by Ferruccio himself. This allowed the tractors to be started with petrol, then switched to the cheaper diesel fuel. These tractors proved to be a hit, and using this success, in 1948 Ferruccio founded Lamborghini Trattori. Within a few years, production had quadrupled from one a week to around 200 a year, and new models were being released, gradually using more parts made by Lamborghini themselves. Due to the huge success of Lamborghini Trattori, Ferruccio had become an incredibly rich man and as a result spent his fortune on his passion, fast cars. He owned cars such as Alfa Romeos and Lancias during the early 1950s and at one point had enough cars to use a different one every day of the week, adding a Mercedes-Benz 300SL, a Jaguar E-Type Coupe and two Maserati 3500 GTs. In 1958, he went on to buy a Ferrari 250 and other Ferrari models over the next few years. This is where his moving into the production of his own sports cars began. After growing more and more frustrated with having to repeatedly take his Ferrari back to Maranello to have its clutch fixed, Ferruccio tried to arrange a meeting with Enzo Ferrari in order to discuss his dissatisfaction. However, famously, Ferrari refused this meeting, leaving a dissatisfied Ferruccio to begin manufacturing his own perfect touring car, which he felt no one else could build for him. In 1963, Automobili Lamborghini was founded. The company's first models, such as the 350 GT, were released in the mid-1960s and were noted for their refinement, power and comfort. Lamborghini gained acclaim in 1966 for the Miura Sports Coupe, which established rear mid-engine, rear-wheel drive as the standard layout for high-performance cars of the era. In the company's first 10 years, it grew rapidly. However, sales plunged following the 1973 oil crisis and stock market crash, during which time people were looking for cheaper, more fuel-efficient cars, not expensive luxury sports cars. Prior to 1973, Ferruccio Lamborghini and his companies were already facing financial difficulties. In 1971, Lamborghini Trattori, which exported around half of its production of tractors, ran into trouble when its South African importer cancelled all its orders. To harden the financial blow, in Bolivia the new military government cancelled a large order of tractors that was being prepared for shipment in Genoa. Trattori's unionised employees could not be laid off, putting even more strain on the company. In 1972, Lamborghini sold its entire holding in the company to rival tractor builder SAME. In 
In addition, Ferruccio sold 51% of Automobili Lamborghini for 600,000 American dollars, and finally in 1974, he sold off his final 49% stake, ending all involvement in the automotive companies which he had founded. As of 2018, Lamborghini is owned by the Volkswagen Group and continues to make high-end cars with the Aventador, Huracan, Centenario and Urus currently in production. In terms of financial performance, Lamborghini sales in Europe have increased in the new millennium. Sales peaked at just over 1,000 units in 2017 and have been below 400 annual units only once in the last 10 years. In 2017, 3,815 cars delivered to customers worldwide a 10% increase over the previous year, showing that Lamborghini is seemingly going to grow stronger over the next few years.